What's up guys? I wanted to make a quick video about uh, dual elevator geometry. Not a setup, not a radio setup, about geometry only. It'll be a quick video uh, and the reason is because uh, I had a couple of guys in the last couple of days asking um, uh, you know that the elevators are not traveling at the same rate and uh, how can they fix that and when I mentioned geometry they had no idea what I'm talking about so uh, let's get to it. There's only, uh, to me, there's uh, four important steps that you need to do uh, when you get the plane and you first start assembling it. And so, this is my 104 Extra. I'm sure many will recognize that. And it really starts with the hinges. When you hinge it, use whatever you use, take your time. I use 30 minute epoxy, not 15, not 5, but 30 minutes so uh, I can take my time and make sure that the gap is nice and tight right as tight as you can get it and it needs to be consistent uh, on the other one as well so nice tight gaps you can't have one you know large let's say 1 16th or even more and the other one nice and tight that will upset the geometry so that's step number one number two uh, control horns here and here when you glue them in place you glue the first one, you measure the distance from the hinge line to the outer hole, and let's just say it's one and three quarters, right? The other one should be the same. Hinge line, come on, to here, one and three quarters. Not less, not more, it needs to be the same. Again, take your time, don't rush it. There you go, they need to be the same. Step number three, after you install the servos, you power it up. You put that away. Um, you know, preferably, and obviously you want to use uh, two of the same servos. In this case, it's the MKS 380. Uh, and uh, two of the same arms. Not two different manufacturers, I'm not going to mention any, but uh, two of the same arms. So you buy the extreme flight ones, use two of the same. Now, you power the radio, assuming everything is zeroed out, uh, you want to set these, uh, come on, zoom in. Uh, you want to set these to 90 degrees to the servo case. So you go from here to here, 90 degrees on both. And the last step, assuming you did that, the last step would be, to install the linkage. In this case, it looks like it's about three inches or so. You know what, let me, uh, let me measure that. There you go, let's see. This one is seven and a half. Right, so you mean 75 millimeters. The other one should be the same exactly the same if not they will not travel at the same rate come on and it is 75 and I've never had a problem with my extra it's perfect it, but you know it is an extra <laughs> and it is from extreme flight so it's uh, it's kind of given so really seriously uh, I you want these arms to be absolutely the same length and assuming you did all these four these four steps um, you really shouldn't have a problem with the uh, I mean you could have a little bit of uh, you know uh, off that the one elevator will travel just a tiny bit faster but I don't think that will affect uh, the flying as much especially if you're flying slow 3d um, but you know, that's about it, guys. Uh, if you think I, uh, I'm, I'm off on that or I'm not, uh, you know, I'm, I, this, this is what I learned from uh, other guys in the last five years. And, and I do that and uh, it's, uh, it's never had a, I never had a problem. Never, you know, uh, I, I know that uh, there's a couple of guys online right now that have the issue. And uh, this, is, this is just the basics uh, that you should do before you start messing with your radio trying to correct for something that uh, you, you know, overlooked, I guess. So, uh, you know, comment, let me know if, um, what you think. And, uh, uh, and by the way, this goes to, the same goes to the ailerons. Uh, just, as, you know, assume, just imagine that this is uh, right aileron, this would be a left aileron. 
same thing. It's the same geometry, uh, basic geometry. So if you have any questions, you know, comment, let me know. All right, see you later. Bye.